How's it going guys? Today I'm going to run you through a quick shoulder workout that I like to do. I rarely do shoulder workouts on their like their own day, but I got a few requests and so I thought I'd do that for you guys. So I'll see you guys in the gym in a minute. Thank you. Hope everyone is doing well and as you know I'm going to be talking over this shoulder workout briefly and the topic I'm going to be bringing up is just something that I get asked quite a bit and that's when I have planned to compete in either bodybuilding or powerlifting. And I can tell you that I will not be competing this spring but the next time um, I'm thinking about competing or looking at doing a show would be this coming fall either late September or early October and I really just like the idea of that just simply because it gives me the summer to keep progressing and I'm not even sure whether I would be doing a bodybuilding physique or classic um, classic physique I believe it's called classic bodybuilding I actually don't even know so um, the reason I don't really know is just simply because my wheels or my legs they're, they're a strong point of mine, so I would definitely want to do something where I could um, utilize that just simply because I've put a lot of work into building up my legs and um, I would want to showcase them. So, not exactly sure what I would do, but I'm thinking about um, maybe doing classic physique and just trying that out and um, being that this is the first spring they're doing it, um, doing next fall show might be a little bit better just simply because they've already done it once before. Um, that is kind of what I'm looking at doing in terms of bodybuilding. Um, in terms of powerlifting, I have thought about doing a powerlifting meet this coming summer. Um, there's a few shows this summer that I was looking at doing shows, I should say, uh, powerlifting meets that I'm looking at doing this summer. And I would probably be just competing in the 165, I believe it is, or 163 class. Not exactly sure on that either. Um, as you guys can tell, I really just enjoy training. I'm not too wrapped up in feeling the need to ju jump in a bodybuilding show um, or a powerlifting meet right this minute, just simply because I want to um, continue training, um, continue staying in a surplus, and make progress. And without being in a surplus and having to diet down for a show or um, diet down to make uh, a specific weight class for powerlifting, um, I just feel like that's um, kind of deterring away from my goals which are just to get stronger and to put on quality muscle without um, putting on too much fat through the summer. Um, but hopefully you guys are enjoying this shoulder workout in the background. I'm going to kind of talk briefly about that. Um, I did start out with a behind neck press and a lot of times I've heard a lot of people talking about how it can be dangerous, um, it's bad for your shoulders, um, and I can definitely agree with that, but if the movement is done properly and um, in a safe manner, you can definitely, definitely make a lot of progress, and I specifically like this because um, I have heard a couple things, that it incorporates the medial delt or the side delt, which is what you're going to see that really give you that cap look, um, more than a front OHP would or overhead press. Um, so in doing it behind the neck, as you see, saw me do earlier, um, is going to incorporate more medial delt um, than a front uh, front overhead press with the barbell. So after I heard that, um, I actually did hear that in Jeff Nippard's, I believe I'm pronouncing his name right, um, one of his latest videos and he said that he had read a study um, explaining how the medial delt was incorporated a bit more um, on that behind neck press. So give behind neck press a shot. As you saw, I wasn't using very much weight at all and as long as you're keeping the weight relatively light, not going super, super heavy, um, you can get you can get away with doing the behind neck press and not feeling like you're going to um, be impinging your shoulders or doing any damage that you wouldn't want to be doing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that shoulder workout. Um, like I said, I typically don't do shoulder workouts by themselves. I usually throw my shoulders in on my push and pull days, especially my medial delt. I'll just throw in lateral raises at the end of my pull days as well, just to hit them about two or three times a week since I don't have a specific shoulder day. But since somebody asked, I decided to just throw in a specific shoulder day just to show you guys what I would do if I were to program that in um, on my normal split. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'm about to have this Builder's Protein Bar. Um, it's by Cliff Bar and it's got 20 grams of protein, I think 4 grams fiber, 9 grams of fat, and yeah, 
30 grams of carbs, 29 grams of carbs. So um, just trying that out, thought I'd kind of get those and see how they are and sh show you guys um, some different protein bars you can get and something you can kind of get at uh, like a Woodman's grocery store type of place rather than having to go to like GNC or like a supplement place. But I think they were like $15 for a box of 12 of them, which is pretty good because Quest Bars, I know, are tw about 25 bucks for a box of 12. So if you're in the market for some protein bars, definitely check those out. Um, this is going to be the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that. I think I'm going to do a commentary over the workout video, which you guys have, would have already seen. Um, but thank you guys, as always, for watching. I will talk to you soon. And um, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more freaking uploads, guys. going to be coming out more, uh, more freaking videos just so you guys can see more content and definitely just show you guys that I'm going to be consistent with this and um, I'm in this for the long run. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon.